So if I will run this particular uh, URL API, then here is the count next and the previous button, uh, previous information and name and the URL. So same thing I have uh, shown here like a count next and previous. If I will click any of this uh, any of this card, so suppose I, if I will click it this card, then uh, this information is available related to that particular card. So it means that as you can notice each name uh, having the URL. So actually this data is fetching from the URL. So it means from this URL basically. This is for the example. And from here you can notice that it have a uh, image as well. So it have a forms and uh, uh, it it have a uh, abilities. So all this information I have fetched and showing into this uh, particular page. However, it is not a best way to show. Uh, I need to show in a particular format, in a particular way, all these forms information or um, abilities. If I will go back, then the previous page I uh, came here. If I will click the next and the previous, then data is changing. So uh, basically, next uh, next and the previous URL is already available. So uh, as you can notice that it is a uh, next and this is the previous. So based on that data is coming and the same data I am displaying over here. So now uh, I come to this particular code and uh, let's explain. So now I am in the app module. So basically in the app module, uh, a path is cut. So when the cart will be loaded then I have used here the lazy loading it means that another module will get load module is a cart module and in that you can notice there is a store module I have imported a store module for root and all this information like cart cart details this is a cart detail data it means uh, first one is a card a card it means uh, as you know that uh, here uh, this is a uh, basically a card and uh, if I will click any of this card then the card detail is showing here so it means what it means I am getting this data from this particular uh, you know store module or this particular selector so this is done with the help of the ngrx so in in case of ngrx I have used some of the thing like a select action so if I will go to the action card action then you can notice uh, that I have created some of the action this is for the card component get card data get card so basically uh, this action is a unique in nature means if unique action will get triggered then the something will be happen so uh, what the thing will be happen I, I am describing here in the reducer so in reducer you can notice that uh, uh, for each of this action there are some uh, I am doing certain changes in the state so in the state I am doing certain changes here so here there will be a initial data and then on that particular action trigger I am changing the state value this is very simple create reducer initial state initial state and then on that particular uh, action I am changing the state that's it now uh, effect so in the effect you can notice that if I will go to the effect card effect uh, you can notice here that if the if this particular action this is the action type so uh, there are two way actually I can use a uh, uh, type or uh, maybe a uh, action name so I am using here the type if this action will get triggered then on that particular effect there will be uh, let let me delete this uh, there will be a uh, uh, like a uh, another action will get triggered it means what if this action will get triggered then on that effect because i am using the effect so on that particular effect uh, there will be another action will get triggered and that particular action will store the data means basically after this effect api call will happen and I am getting the parameter parameter it means that whatever like a URL 
so here you can notice this dot http http nothing but http client uh, from the http clients i am calling the api and uh, as you know it's returning the observable so that's why i can use the pipe map all the operator here so this dot http and then payload parameter dot payload whatever uh, i will get it means uh, when when i am uh, when i am uh, dispatching that particular event then also passing the parameter uh, also passing the argument and payload you can say to so that payload i am passing to uh, eventually uh, api call and uh, returning a data and on that particular data i am again uh, dispatching another another action with the payload whatever data i am receiving i am just passing to that particular action so in this way uh, and and uh, at the end what will happen that uh, in into the reducer payload will uh, with the help of the payload the and the props you can say the state object will the state data will be get changed so this is all about these things as you can notice whatever payload uh, whatever data i am passing that particular data will uh, will be uh, Uh, like uh, change the state value so this is the cart effect and in a similar way if for the detail as well if i will call uh, one event will be happen like a uh, uh, this detail then on that particular effect uh, i will i am receiving the payload payload is nothing but a url and and uh, this is this is calling api and after getting a response i am passing that particular data to uh, to the reducer so that uh, state uh, object will get changed so this is the basic principle so now if i will go to that particular modules which i have created and uh, lo loaded as a lazy loading in that particular module you can notice again a router module for child because this is a, a feature module so that's why for child if path will nothing will be there it means only the cart and then if the uh, uh, if the route will be extended with the cart slash details then i'm passing the component uh, loading the component as you can notice and at the end into the router outlet all this component uh, data will get load so as you can notice there is a router outlet in the app component.html so let's go to the cart and then into the cart you can uh, notice this is the component basically in ng on in it i am dispatching one event passing some payload payload is nothing but uh, one uh, data as you can notice this is the url so i am passing the url and based on the url we are getting a data and again i am calling another method for the next and the previous button if uh, anyone will click the next and previous button then i am passing the that particular url so according to that particular url data will come and here you can notice that uh, this is the cart data just it's like a observable so i need to subscribe it so that i can uh, load it so let me uh, remove this unnecessary comment so into the cart component uh, dot html you can notice first and foremost what i have done here is uh, as you can notice that it is this is for the card detail uh, this is for the card component so actually uh, i am using the async pipe so that i can do the subscribe and after the subscription i have collected all this information like uh, count and then the previous and the next this is the url i am passing on the click event uh, the state will get changed because on that particular event uh, we will get a data from the url whatever url i am passing because this method is doing nothing but uh, dispatching one uh, action okay. that's why as you can notice that action is getting here dispatched actually not here here uh, as you can notice that action is getting dispatched with that part uh, with that type and the payload and payload is nothing but a url and on that particular uh, dispatch this data this uh, state value will get changed and we will get the dispatch value like a stream so 
with the card data we will get a data uh, another data state object will get changed on that particular effect so latest data will be loaded so if i will go here into the page as you can notice if i will clicking the next and the previous the data is keep checking changing these things because eventually i am changing the state value on the this next or previous button so this is a next and previous button uh, if i will click any of the card then i am going to the another route and on that particular route same thing is happening i am getting this information from the url uh, so if i will click here if i will go to the card details component then you can notice that i am uh, displaying all this information like image and then forms and the ability which i am getting from the api call